So how do scientists measure earthquakes? Well, they use something called a seismometer or a seismograph. And I've got a picture of one right here. So basically, they have um, one part of it which is connected to the ground, so it doesn't move. Well, it moves whenever the ground moves. And they've got another part of it, which is you know, a heavy mass connected you know, by a string. But this mass, through a process or called inertia, this mass won't move, even when the ground moves. So what happens is, when an earthquake occurs, this part of the seismometer or the seismograph, this part will move, and this has some paper on it. So the paper will be moving left and right, left and right, left and right, but the ball, which has a pen on the bottom, it stays steady. So because the earth and the paper is moving, the pen will end up drawing this squiggly line on the paper as the paper moves underneath it. And that paper will tell us how big the earthquake is. We actually measure earthquakes, um, we used to measure earthquakes using a scale called the Richter scale. Um, but uh, a few years ago now, quite a long, uh, a number of years ago, uh, most scientists have moved, moved to the moment magnitude scale. Um, and it's just a way to measure earthquakes. Um, a 10 on the moment magnitude scale or Richter scale, that is a huge earthquake. And a one on the scale is a teeny, teeny, tiny earthquake. But scientists measure earthquakes using um, seismographs or seismometers.